Okay guys, so I was thinking this week that I want to start doing video diaries because I have a lot of thoughts and I just need a place to put them and right now it is Thursday, October 13th at like 2 a.m. and I decided to start now because I can't sleep because I'm just like thinking about shit and it's making me sad um, and I might cry but I wanted to talk about um, so I live in Chicago now I go to college and I love it here and I love the people I've met here and it's really nice like being here and not being at home and like experiencing new things but I wanted to talk about a touchy subject for me which would be me breaking up with my high school boyfriend of three years and that was like a year ago so that happened a year ago and I know that like a lot of people can move on from breakups really fast but like I don't know I moved on from him but like the situation still hurts me really bad just because it was one of the most devastating and traumatizing things that I've ever been through and I think what hurts a lot is like knowing that it didn't hurt him and I feel like I need to like see my therapist again because obviously you can't make somebody like hurt about something and like obviously I have no control over if it hurt him or not and like it shouldn't matter but like for some reason it really really bothers me um these thoughts are coming to my mind because the other day I had a really bad day I like thought I heard one of my roommates the other day I had a horrible day I hooked up with this guy and it made me feel like shit and like I thought it was gonna make me feel good and it didn't um just because like I feel like what I've really been craving is just like intimacy but like in a loving way with somebody like a love an intimacy like a bond and I think I was trying to fill that intimacy whole in a different way um but that made me feel like shit and I was thinking I was like fuck I really miss my ex right now just because from what I thought from our relationship I mean who knows if this is true could totally not be true but I thought he really loved me um for me for who I was everything about me and like all the guys here are trash and just want to hook up and like I obviously like love I love loving people and I want to be loved and I want to love somebody and I want to have an intimate connection with somebody so I was thinking fuck I really miss him not because I miss him but I was just missing like that love with somebody so I texted him and we hadn't talked in like almost a year um, like eight months but I should not have done that and I learned my lesson but I texted him basically I was like hi like how are you how is blah 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 where he goes to school and he was just like being vague and dry as always and then I was kind of like being saucy and like sassy which I should not have been but I was basically like uh, I need closure um, because I feel like that's been a big issue throughout this whole entire healing process that I've been through is I got absolutely zero closure 
whatsoever from him because like how we broke up like he just said bye love you I'm gonna miss you so much and he moved away and like that's like it was not like I'm breaking up with you like we're done it was just like he moved and like it was a mutual well, it was not mutual it was what he wanted and I had no choice but like it was just like that was the situation he was gonna move and we we're gonna be done but like obviously it didn't feel like we were done and it was just like a really weird situation and just from my standpoint I feel like he handled it really horribly because he said a lot of really mean and hurtful things in like the two weeks following that day and I was just like not okay but anyway back to the present I basically was like I need closure and then he was like no he was like I have a girlfriend which I didn't know he has a girlfriend which good for you and he was like so I don't want to do this and I was like um well it's unfair for you to do all the things you did to me and then not give me closure and then he was like well I'm the happiest I've ever been and I hope you are too and then I cried all night and it just felt like shit and like I don't really care that he's a girlfriend like good for you whatever hope you're happy with her but like whenever he was like I'm the happiest I've ever been it felt like a jab and like I don't know if it was supposed to be a jab but it felt like a jab at me like a fuck you like I wasn't happy with you that's what it felt like but I don't know I was mad about multiple things because whenever we broke up he was like I don't want a girlfriend at all in college like I just want to focus on myself and like my school work like and maybe like after college like I would wait for you like we could wait for each other blah blah, blah. basically implying that he wanted to totally focus on himself during college and then after college we would reconnect which I thought was the stupidest thing ever but like that's what he said and like obviously he did not stick with that which I didn't really think he would but it's like why are you saying things that you cannot like why are you promising things that you can't hold up to that always pisses me off no matter what no matter who it is it's like don't say something if you can't hold your end of the bargain like just don't say it because when you do say that you get my hopes up so you might as well just not say it like I would have rather he said I'm gonna fuck this girl this girl this girl and I'm gonna date this girl this girl this girl and I don't I don't want to talk to you at all I would have been like okay great because that would have given me a lot more closure than the things he said um but I feel like what's really gotten to me so bad is that like he just like moved away and was happy and like was meeting new people and like got to live his life and this is obviously I don't know how he felt but from how I knew him as a person and like just how he is I would assume he was not sad just because like he's not he doesn't really get sad about shit and if he does he's not gonna say it but like I was at home, my heart was shattered, and then he's like a few months later taking this girl to formal, and now that girl is his girlfriend. And it's just like, I don't know, I feel like, like he was like, you're the most important thing to me, I love you so much, I'll never love anyone as much as you. And then he like gets, gets another girlfriend. And good for you you moved on that fast but I I don't know it just makes me reflect on our whole relationship and I'm like obviously 
it was not mutual between us of what we were feeling because I was like, I want to marry him. I love him so much. Like I would have died for him. I would have done anything for him. And like, he would tell me those things too, but obviously he didn't really feel it. And I think another thing that's really getting to me is just like, he's never apologized and he doesn't feel bad. And like, obviously I can't make him feel bad, but you would think if he really did love me and care about me, he would feel bad for like how he made me feel. Because like, after we broke up, I literally lost 20 pounds and I was so depressed. I would cry every single day and I developed an eating disorder and I don't know, maybe not an eating disorder, but I didn't eat, so yeah. And like, I genuinely like wanted to die sometimes. And like, it was hell. And like, now I'm on antidepressants because of that. My therapist told me I had PTSD and trauma and like relational trauma and severe depression. And it's like, how do you get to put me through all that shit and then not give me closure or apologize? And like, you just get to be happy and act like you're not responsible for any of that shit. Or even care enough to ask. Like, he had never once asked me like, are you okay? Or like, how I am? Like, he really just does not give a fuck. And obviously, like, that's fine. I need to get over that and just, like, move on. Because, like, in life, you cannot make people give a fuck that you're sad. But it's just sad because, like, you said you gave a fuck. And obviously, it wasn't true. Because somebody who really cared about me would check up on me and would apologize if they really, really did truly love me and care about me. And I don't know, it's just all kind of like fucked me up in the mind right now. Because like, obviously I still have healing that I'm going through. Not really about him, like I don't miss him. I don't want him because like reflecting on our relationship there's so many things about him that I fucking cannot stand. In so many ways, he treated me like actual trash that I just like completely looked past because I was just so in love with him. And I was young, 16, 17. Um, so no, I do not miss him. But like, I think just the situation like depression, the anxiety, the trust issues, all that, like, being completely blindsided and, like, abandonment issues, especially because I already have abandonment issues and, like, f trust issues from family problems, and then I confided in him about all of those issues, and then he did the same shit to me. So I think it's more so just like still healing and recovering from how it all went down and like how I felt because like I'm being serious when I say that was the most traumatic shit I've ever been through and like I don't know my friends that are like on my private story and stuff they would know because I would literally just cry all the time. Like I would be hanging out with my friends and just start bawling. Like I was at work, just breaking down into tears and having to run to the bathroom. Like it was actual hell. It was actual hell. <sighs> I don't know. I wish I could just like wipe my brain. And I know that I'm like stronger for it and like better because of it. 
but at the same time like nobody deserves to be hurt so bad or go through something as horrible as that to become a better version of themselves like you do not deserve trauma to better yourself but like if you experience trauma the only thing you can do is become a stronger and better and wiser version of yourself but yeah i mean i don't know there's a lot of good there's a lot of good things that came out of that completely horribly shitty traumatizing situation like i'm so independent i'm a boss bitch i hang out alone i love myself i love myself and i know my worth i know how i love and i know that i have so much to give in life and i'm so empathetic and sensitive and grateful and helpful and like i love myself and i love who i am i love that i'm sensitive and that i cry and that i feel my emotions so hard because i am so emotionally in tune with myself and that's something that is something that he always made me feel like shit for because like something would happen and i would cry and he'd be like why the fuck are you crying like stop fucking crying it's like okay let me cry if i need to cry but yeah i don't know i just like had these thoughts that needed to come out because i was laying in my bed going through it listening to secrets after sex and that's never good at 2 a.m but um yeah i don't know this is more for me but also i mean if it helps people it helps people and that's good but i don't know i'm so young i'm 19 and dating someone for three years and then trying to get over it and all that stuff it, that's so that's a lot at such a young age and honestly like i'm happy I have a lot to look forward to, like I'm going out on dates and like meeting people and going out at night and going clubbing and like learning and I'm having fun but it's also still really hard to get over trauma but I mean I have come such a long 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 way from where I was a year ago and I'm really really proud of myself for that but yeah I don't know that's really all I had to say to sum it up trauma sucks and people suck and they will treat you like shit and maybe they won't be sorry for it and that's okay because you can't make anyone feel bad for you and you can't make anyone sorry and really I've just been trying over the last like six months to give myself the closure that I need because obviously I didn't receive any so I don't know those are the things that I'm doing in my life I'm focusing on me experiencing new things changing evolving meeting new people healing and trying to settle all of these feelings that I can't control so yeah